Hello everyone, welcome back to Play This Pop, my name is Edward, and today I'm going to be reviewing Poppy's new album, Zig. Zig is Poppy's fifth studio album and the follow-up to Flux, which was finished over a year ago and the reason for that is because she was changing record labels which delayed the release, but eventually she did find the right partnership. Poppy has described this album as a rimneck laning record with honest songs and in an interview she did with Zach Singh, she revealed she wrote about 35 to maybe 45 songs for this album and the reason she went in a more rhythm dance direction, which is what led to creating this album, was so she would have music videos with dancing because she who danced for 11 years felt that this was the time to do it again. So my favorite songs on the album were Motorbike, probably the second catchiest song on the album next to Zig, which I think is the most catchiest on the album. It's just a fun, feel good pop song. Church outfit, I love the production. This song instantly grabbed me the first time I heard it. I love how even though this song has more of a pop production, but she still added her own touch of metal into it and added some screams towards the end, which I thought was a nice touch. And then there's knockoff love this song it's another one just like motorbike that i feel it's the most pop on the album i love the video i love that we got to see her dance and just the imagery and the visuals and just everything that just was in that video I thought was just so nicely done. Which Poppy refers to this song as Church Outfit's Cousin. And a fun fact that I learned about this song, which you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this song from what I read in comments, this song was actually meant for Am I a Girl? But it didn't make the album. And I guess for this album, they decided to go ahead and add it, but just update the production. I think there is a demo out there online. I think that one is true because it does sound like a song I would have heard off that album. Album, what it becomes the violins in this song and the production came in and the song just started to get more darker oh, I just loved it and then the effects that she had on her voice I guess towards after the bridge maybe definitely a standout for me on the album it's amazing and this is the song that I hope gets the single treatment and we get a visual because I would love to see a music video on this especially seeing the music video for knockoff I would love to see where Poppy would take this song then there's flicker which Poppy has said this is a song about flickering the fear of forever being with somebody making sure you're okay before settling with someone else how she wrote this song is because she was dating somebody at the time that was really boring to her and she explained that she had a relationship with somebody who was like the total opposite that they were very chaotic and not good for her so i guess what her explanation of this song is just be careful who you surround yourself with i think it's more so when you're gonna be with somebody who you're gonna spend the rest of your life with ones plus zeros i love the production when it comes in it's a bit distorted maybe it was like a hyper pop type of touch into that song i'm not sure because when it comes to hyper pop i'm not the most knowledgeable on it i only know it based on you know charlie xcx and even rebecca black and then there's linger i really love the guitar in this one the attic another song where the production is a bit interesting this song along with prove it that it got me thinking okay if a remix was planned for this song or prove it especially i think charlie xcx will be perfect hearing this song she kind of experimented with her voice and the production and everything it just felt like something that i could definitely see charlie xcx sing so the songs that were growers for me is probably zig i don't hate it i feel like i just need more time with it the thing that i really did like about this because this has more of a rock production when it gets to i guess like the chorus when the guitars come in do you know what when i heard that i started thinking of demi lovato you know how Demi Lovato has gone back to pop rock rock she needs to do a collaboration with Demi Lovato when I heard the guitars come in I could imagine Demi singing this song anything that has to do with rock on the next future projects to come I would love to see Poppy do a collaboration with Demi Lovato I think that would be amazing so now when it comes to my least favorite off this album that is hard I can't really get into this song I'm not sure why I am gonna try to hear it a bit more maybe it'll grow on me but I just don't find any interest in listening to this song like I've heard it a few times but it doesn't really grab my attention it's just I don't know it's just I guess not for me so overall I did enjoy this album the more I hear it the more I love it it was nice hearing Poppy go more into a pop direction again but also add the other songs that she's also explored like rock metal alternative and add them all into one for this album which I thought was nicely done also another thing that I like to add is that when I was watching her interview with Zach Singh there was mentions about Zig being the half of Zag. I think when Poppy was describing this album she said something that there was more to come or something like that 
like that which got me thinking maybe we're gonna get another album like the second part to this album so this one's called zig right and the next album will probably be called zag which will be connected to this album at least that's my guess it did seem like she was teasing something more was coming so i'm excited and looking forward to that but what are your thoughts on this album did you like it what were your favorite songs you can share it down in the comments down below if you did like this video don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for more videos thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you later